Hello students, this is 9th standard, the fundamental unit of life chapter. Children, this is actually a continuation class. We have completed with plasma membrane, which is also called a cell membrane, a lysosome, Golgi, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, cytoplasm. And today children, let us try to know another important part of the cell called as mitochondria. So today topic children, it is mitochondria. So as usual, we try to know where actually mitochondria will be present in the cell. Children, if you look into this uh, miniature uh, diagram of the cell, you can see nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex and uh, lysosomes, which we have already covered. So today, as I told you, let us see where these actually mitochondria are. Usually in an animal cell or in plant cell, we write 2 to 3 mitochondria and we don't have a specific position. As you can see, we have one mitochondria here, one we have here and another one we have here. That means there is no particular position, it will be distributed here and there in the cell. So we can say not a particular place or not a particular position, it will be found here and there in the parts of the cell. So that is how mitochondria will be present inside the cell, that is in the eukaryotic cell. Um, now let us uh, know the structure of the cell chain. Structure of mitochondria in the cell. So this is a membranous organelle. It has, we can call it as oval shape, rod shape or something like that. So it is an oval shape membranous organelle. And it is having two membranes, possessing with two membranes. This is the outer membrane and the inner membrane has some foldings like this. The inner part of the mitochondria is having some foldings like this. So this I can call it as outer membrane. And inner membrane. Outer membrane is actually smooth. Outer membrane is actually smooth and it is porous. P O R O U S. It is porous only because the necessary material. See, this is one mitochondria which is actually in one old cell. So, there are some important materials we keep moving inside and outside the mitochondria. So, for that purpose, so that is what this porous outer membrane will do. So, porous outer membrane of the mitochondria will help in movement of the important materials in and out of mitochondria. Whereas, inner membrane is having some foldings. Because of that foldings, it is rough in texture. So, the inner membrane will be rough in texture. The middle part, the other part of the mitochondria will be having some fluids and that we call it as matrix. It contains a matrix material. The foldings what we have here, we call those foldings as triste. The foldings in the inner layer of the mitochondria, we call it as triste. Each criste is possessing with some important material. We actually call them as oxisomes. So in the space of, in the space from one criste to other criste, there are some uh, type of materials, structures. We call them as oxisome. Children, this mitochondria has its own DNA. So usually we find this DNA in the nucleus. So here in the cell, in the nucleus we have DNA. But here mitochondria itself has one DNA. It has it, it has its own DNA. Apart from that, it is also having some ribosomes. Ribosomes are nothing but the deposition of 
protein molecules. We have known about it when we learned about uh, this uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So it has its own DNA, it has some protein material also inside its structure and it is having cristae. So this is its um, structure children. Now let us try to know the functions. The functions of mitochondria. You must have already learned in the lower classes or in the previous classes, we usually say mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. Power house of the cell. Power is nothing but the energy. That means there are so many cellular activities that takes place inside the cell. So the cell and the other uh, system, organ system, whatever has to go on inside our organ system, energy is very much necessary. Those energy should be in the form of molecules. And that has to be produced, that has to be uh, synthesized in the cell. So that production of energy molecule takes place in the mitochondria and those molecules we call it as ATP. So whatever we have oxisomes now, these oxisomes will help in the production of energy molecules called as ATP. ATP is nothing but adenosyl. Triphosphates. Adenosyl triphosphate is an energy molecule which will be produced in the mitochondria and it is used for the purposes, cellular uh, activities in the organ system. That is why we call this mitochondria as powerhouse of the cell. So this one, uh, uh, powerhouse of the cell. Next we have proteins. So it also helps in production and supply of protein molecules. Protein materials. Apart from protein materials, it will also take care of calcium and calcium and fatty molecules. Fatty acids. So to some extent, calcium and fatty acids are also supplied because of this mitochondria. So it is actually a supplier of very important uh, material to the cell for all the cellular activities. So that is why it is an important part of the cell. Uh, we can actually say like that. So uh, outer membrane, uh, inner membrane, the cristae, matrix, DNA and the protein molecule which will, which will be in the form of ribosomes makes this mitochondria an important organelle in the cell. So children, in the next class, we need to know about vacuoles and uh, plastids. Uh, I'll meet you in the next class. Thank you.